Just a real brief disclaimer before I get into this compilation. I want to explain that this stuff was happening so frequently and I was getting gaslit so heavily that I started getting suspicious and carrying uh, my smartphone camera on the ready, on the standby. Trust me, there's a lot, lot more that's not being shown. And most of the stuff I do show, you know, it wasn't like immediately that I needed to, to jump to action. There's a lot of stuff where I could not record it because I had to, you know, have both hands free and help out and not be a cameraman. Uh, I hope people understand that. He's, they tell me to stay out of it. They tell me that they can watch him and stuff. And they obviously cannot watch him. This is what happens when I listen to Rudd. They say, oh, just stay out of it, Alan. You're making it worse. They let him play in the road. They let him play in traffic. And I got two witnesses up there on the hill, Sherman and Anthony. I'm sick of their shit. Up, nope, you're good. If there is, I'll throw you in the ditch or something. But this is what happens when Rush and Lorraine tell me to stay out of it. He plays in the road. Now, uh, I'm submitting this for the rest of the extended family. Because I'm tired of it. See, now she's sitting up there. She just let him do it. She can't watch him. She can't look control him. Look how she's treating me. Huh? Look how she's treating me. Yeah. Look how they're treating me. They tell me to stay out of it, then they let you play in the road. So what did you say you were going to well, find that trailer or something? Oh, I have to get her to sign papers. Sign the papers. I've already signed it. She showed me where to sign them. What was you needing Russ to sign on it for, though? I'm putting my name in Russ's name. You putting it in Russ's name? Yeah, I don't want it just in my name. What's well, yours? But I don't want nothing just in my name. Well, couldn't you put it in Stevie's or Williams or Bill no. Jean's? So you're gonna give it all to Russ, huh? It will. <laughs> okay, I see. It'll be. Like that truck too. I've got okay. I see what's going on. Wow. Well, Russ coming over and taking over is what's going on. He took that truck now to go take the house. Not been here in 40 years. Let me see your hand. That dog did that. Yeah. that rotated. Hold dog, come over here to the light. What happened? You been crying too on me all morning. I heard her barking and stuff. Hold it up at me. That's deep, buddy. And the dog bit you like right there. Let me turn your hand this way. It bit you there, and it bit you. Well, that is deep. Then it got you on the leg too. Mm -hmm. Let me see your leg. I will get you some first aid kit. Now this isn't the first time this happened. And by the way, Papa has Alzheimer's and is senile and keeps leaving the dog, and it keeps attacking him. Yeah, I see where it got you right there on the leg. It just nipped you there, but still. Every morning it barks like that and wakes me up, like early, early in the morning. If somebody doesn't come over and visit and wake me up, it, the dog wakes me up. I'm gonna go get you some medicine first aid to put on that. I just wanted to get a, a picture of it because I'm getting kind of, this is starting to upset me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see it. You see right there? They got a big old chunk out. Me and my grandfather was trying to get the, the truck to go to my cousin Steve. And my uncle's like, I'll get it before Steve does. I just, well, you watch the clip. I wanted to put that context in there just so you know what's going on in this clip. This is February. Like I said, I'm going to put this on a delay. But uh, essentially, they're trying to sell my grandfather's truck under his out from under his nose because they don't want him driving, right? And they're obsessed with getting this fucking truck topper back on it before they sell it because they think they can get more money out of it that way. Now, I'm not going to get into the politics of my grandfather wanted that truck to go to my cousin as an inheritance, and it's technically my cousin's inheritance. I'll let him, you know, deal with all the drama of that. I'll let him, you know, I'll, that'll be between him and my uncle's. It'll be between my uncles and him. I, I'm not going to say personally here how I feel about that situation. Now, I do feel that y'all grandfather don't need to be driving, but all this sneaky stuff, all this two-faced stuff, all this snake in the grass stuff, all this, hey, Alan, hey, Alan, you're a worthless piece of shit, but we want you to do everything for us. So, 
yeah i've got to clean this they want me to clean it they didn't go clean it themselves i've got to clean this right because if you look if you look it's got i don't know if the camera's showing that but it's got like um moss growing on it and instead of them cleaning it i've got to clean it and not only do i have to clean it but when they come to pick it up and put it on the truck guess who's got to lift it up and help them put it on the truck for free you know the guy the the, the guy that they say don't do nothing mm -hmm. it's like this all the time baby boomers and um this is why i'm moving no more hay allen hay allen hay allen i don't know what they're going to do without a without a hay allen around to hay allen everything but hay allen hay allen no more I'm going to put this on a delay and even upload it to YouTube, but I'm going to make a compilation of all this eventually. Again, viewer discretion is, is advised. I'm just documenting this for documentation's sake because the guy likes the gaslight, but uh, I'm getting really tired of this. What's going on? Why is he in the floor? He fell. He fell? Yeah. Why didn't you? He got drunk on that tobacco. What tobacco? You gave him tobacco? No. Rush bought him a pack, you remember? Oh, okay. And he came in drunk. He made him woozy or something. So, okay. Uh, have you called Rush? No, I'm not going to. Have you called anybody? Any no, ambulance? No, I'm going to. Okay, well, I'm going to get I'm him. Gonna help you, please. I will. I'll uh, I'll so help. I got him back up on the couch. How long has he been in the floor? I don't know. How did he get in the floor? How bad was I don't know. We're going to look and see. So this is Rush's doing, huh? No, it ain't Rush's doing. It's Curly's doing. He gave him the tobacco. He knew he wasn't supposed to have it. Curly gave him the tobacco. Yeah, 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 it's locked or something. It's got a four on it. That's how hard it is. You might have broke it. It ain't broke. Can you know that thing? God. Up? Oh, God. Yeah, he needs an ambulance. Why? He's got, he's gashed wide open. Really? Yes, really. What is that? That's a camera. I'm just showing. Yeah, I'm record it, honey. Go ahead. I am. I'm what was you think of the man? God. Damn. I'm who got I'm who got your husband up out of the floor. I'm who took you to the hospital when you had a hernia. I don't want to hear it. Especially this going on. That's bad, buddy. That is really, really bad. That is super bad. And you put, put a band -aid I can't put a band aid. Listen, I got an ambulance called. What? I've got an ambulance called. They're going to doctor you up when they get here. I don't know. They'll, they'll, they'll probably be about 30 minutes. How long are you going to go to the No, you're going to the hospital. What are you taking? I'm not taking you. Paramedics are on the way. So I'm up on the hill, right? Rush and Momo. We're supposed to be watching him. And this, this is my point. Come on. Come on. Here. Give it a hold of the tank me have him. No, let me have him. since I've stopped maintaining it because they said they can do it. They don't need me, right? Yeah. 
they just like half they they took one shovel of shit and they said no nah, we're not dealing with this and they just put it down you can see right here this this bleak part of grass that's where homer likes to piss so like right where you walk out to and if you're not careful it stinks out here by the way you, know, you got if you're colorblind you can't see that but trust me there's dog turds hidden like little landmines all throughout that they won't clean it it's just a house of usher. You know what I'm saying? It's bleh. Bleh. It stinks. It smells like shit and dog piss out there. It smells like a dog kennel. Um, and the other thing about this situation is uh, since Rush had his build this for him, since he's coming back and taking over, we can't get to our problem. The, the propane people, they can't refill the propane tank, so they're not gonna have heat <laughs> this winter if the power goes out. You know, that's the situation that this guy is putting us in. And say hello to the camera so we can close this on a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a gory cat video. You want, I just fed you. Call her nefarious. Nefarious. She can't be more than about a year old. Pretty cat. More responsibility around here. No, no, I don't want you rubbing on me. No. You're just for show. <laughs> I ain't got any pant legs on. I just took a shower. Yeah, you're pretty though. <coughs> Sorry if I look a little bit like crap at the moment, but uh, COVID-19 confirmed. Like I think I've had it before. But this is the first time that it's an actual confirmation on it. And uh, in other news, you know, I had been overlanding most of the summer, by the way, camping. I haven't even been here. Uh, the reason I came back was because, you know, after me being gone for one month and saying, hey, you handle grandfather then, if it's so easy, uh, they basically had him arrested and uh, he's not here anymore. One month, we met not being here managing him. That's how long they lasted with him. <laughs> I've been out overlanding and, and backyard camping and stuff and up on the hill and up in the woods. I haven't been here. <laughs> so when that happened, you know, um, news, hearing it and stuff, I came back and uh, Uncle Hemroyd infected us with coronavirus. You know, just to, to kick you while you're down and stuff. So I'm, I'm stuck here now on quarantine. <laughs> oh boy. October the 18th. 2021 That's all I've heard Inside the house Or right outside my window He never stops barking Every week, three times a week. There's literally nothing out there. But this is enough to drive anybody, to get anybody frustrated. It's even worse when he's in the house doing it, which he does all night and all morning. Every morning, every fucking morning this. It's been going on all morning. Can you hear it? It's been going on since about 5 30 this morning that dog's been doing that every day 
Let's see what's going on. What are you doing to the dog, Papa? What he's doing to me. Oh, he's doing it? What's he doing to you? I'm going to sleep and I'm going to bed. Now keep in mind, that was going on for about 15 minutes before I was able to get to the camera and turn it on and stuff. Yeah. See what we're doing? So this is the shit we had to put up with every single fucking day. What y'all doing? I don't know what he's doing. You heard on the He just turned on you at random, huh? Okay, I've been biting my tongue and biding my time on this, you know, the best I can, trying to just not make a deal out of it, because I'm trying to, to move out and just 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 go before things escalate and escalate and escalate. But my uncle keeps upping the motherfucking ante. The one that's come in, hadn't been around for 40 years, coming in acting like he owns the place and trying to take over and just, I'm the master and you're the slave attitude. Okay, listen, he's been met. He, I had electrical RV cables and extension cords and stuff on the back of this building, and long with, and probably had a lot of other stuff. We just had all sorts of knickknacks and stuff all over this building, which were some of it might have been junk or whatever, but some of it was actually useful. Son of a bitch, while, but while I was gone working because I can't work from home anymore, I can't do like third party in the uh, independent. Uh, development and 3d modeling and scripting and stuff I, and content creation i can't do that from home anymore because of him so i've been out flea marketing and ebay and, and wholesaling and and odd job and i come home he's here and he's gave away my stuff without my permission clearing it with me or asking me or or anything and he's done this before but this is not the first time but this time it's kind of, first few times you let it slide like the first time happen chance second time coincidence third time it's enemy activity is as, as the saying saying from wild things go uh like i'm borderline like what, what what would you do like people watching this and the people that are in the know what's going like so you had an uncle and you went to work or something, right? Or you went down to a ball game or whatever. And you came back. He's like, oh, I cleared out all your junk and I gave it to somebody else. And you're like, but you don't have my permission to do that. Oh, well, you didn't need it anyway. How? Like, what the fuck? Because this is a guy, right? That, that brags about making $50,000 a month. A month now. He's got, you know, kind of guy that, oh, I wanted to buy 100 acres, but they'd only sell me 75 acres. That, that That's the type of guy coming over. And to, uh, to, to him, it might be junk, but now we don't have any electrical cables. We don't have any extension cords. Like the power goes out or something, you know? Yeah, you, you know what I mean? And that aggravates me because, like I said, those were my RV cables that he gave away. And he's done this similar stuff before. I'm not going to get into all of it, but I'm, I'm trying to just, I'm trying my best to not call the cops on him and get a restraining order. Because, like, like this is the last straw. I wasn't even going to talk about this stuff. But let me show you something. You look over here. We're, uh, 
I, I went on strike because he's been coming here and living on top of us. I went and, and he claims to be helping when he does this stuff, when he fucks around, when really he knows what he's doing. He's doing this just to, to be a dipshit. But here's the thing. You know, the reason I stopped mowing the lawn and stopped doing the painting and all the outdoor work is because my uncle kept running his mouth. You understand? I said, well, if you're going to run your mouth and act like I'm not doing anything and da 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 you do it. So they started hiring people to do it instead because they won't do it. They don't want to do it. right? They want slaves. It's a master-slave relationship. And I'm like, okay. Well, he, he started doing the similar stuff with my grandfather. And I finally, I said, you know what? You take care of him then. I'm going to go up on the hill and I'm going to go, you know, working and doing odd jobs and stuff. Not be around, not deal with him. You deal with him. One month. One month after. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. They had him institutionalized. Had him uh, bake, or, uh, voluntarily committed. Now they're telling the family, oh, he's been put in the nursing home. We're taking good care. They had him involuntarily committed. Which, with that said, as far as grandfather had deteriorated and went batshit crazy, I understand. I mean, he did he did need that. But I find it really funny that I've been saying, hey, he needs mental health help. I've been saying that since 2016, 2017. Now I'm just brushing it under, because I was the one managing him. You know what I'm saying? I was the one taking care of him. And then suddenly when I stopped managing him and taking care of him and helping out, and I'm like, okay, fuck it, bye. Oh, he's deteriorated so much. We got to get him... We got to get rid of him. And then, like I said, that's the reason he's coming back and he's just, oh, he's having a field day, just taking all pearly shit. You know what I'm saying? Giving it away to people. But he's just coming in and taking everything, vulturing everything. And, 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 and it's a, a, a neat thing that you got these hornets out here and these snakes in the grass, because that's what that's like, a snake in the grass behavior. Is he really helping out? Is this guy really helping out? Or is he just helping himself out? You know what I'm saying? And I was going to mow the rest of this and just get this little patch here, but god damn. I'll show you the, the carnage. I fucked up that nest pretty good, but they're still crazy. And then this, the, the ground is literally moving over here with bees. That's a cut. What is it? A what? A cut. What's a cut? I don't know. What? Ooh. What are, are they sacrificing kids? There's something going on there. Oh, yeah? It'll come out in a week or two. Oh. Well, usually cults do cult type stuff, like they sacrifice animals and kids and stuff. Like, are they, did they do anything to you? What happened to your arm? Your arm, what happened to it? No, this arm hurt. What happened to it? How'd you hurt it? Huh? How did you hurt your arm? I didn't, I fell out the door. What door? I put that car. I put a while up on that hill. They pushed me out that door. Who's they? They just come in there and stay today. He's in there all the time. I didn't know none of them. How many of them were there? Huh? Was they one or two or three? That one guy I thought said it's that two women and a man was over that place. Two women and a man. That's all I know. So it's three of them. What are y'all doing? I ain't done nothing. Why is he acting like that? I don't know. Non-stop. And I can't get any rest. Because I've got to mill the lawn and do the weeds. And do the dishes and do the fucking laundry. And that fucking dog's always... Just so you guys can hear it. I'm trying to 
mind to get ready and this is going on in the next room. Nine forty four AM almost ten o'clock. This dog's been barking like that since six AM. Every morning, every fucking morning, this it's been going on all morning. Can you hear it? Hush, hush, stop it, queen, queen. 9 a.m. It's been going on since about 5 30 this morning. That dog's been doing that. Let's go see. doing channel i don't know if you remember nifcat but she was a silly little goofball that uh, i took in as a stray and uh, raised up and she's went missing in action um and i do believe my uncle has done something to her because she, he's just the type uh they had the previous dog that i had hauled off to the pound and yeah they slipped up and, and finally uh, uh, co confessed to that so it's basically they euthanized my previous pet and i think something similar has happened to this one because uh around thanksgiving she was fine i had fed her she was in the garage you know no issues whatsoever she was fine happy healthy and uh uncle was coming in so i said you know what i don't i don't want to be around when he's around i'm gonna go visit some some friends somewhere else and i was gone for like one day while he was here came back and uh, there was no NIF cat. And just like similar thing happened when they replaced my dog with their dog and they built the dog lot out there and stuff, you know, and eventually grandmother confessed that they, that that had happened. He never said anything, but she eventually confessed to it. And just like when my tools and electrical supplies and stuff disappeared one day when he came over the guy and just like when grandfather's truck which was supposed to be my cousin's inheritance disappeared you know Ooh, although i can't prove anything you can see why suspicion is high that while he was here i wasn't here i come back she's gone What's he barking at? You don't know. You took what away from him? He's tearing up your cushions, huh? I was trying to watch a video and he kept barking. I can't stop him from barking. Well, he don't bark for me like that. Y'all got busted, didn't ya? Yeah. 
coming over and leaving his dog 24 7. not only that but he's been coming over and acting like he owns the place talking a ton of smack you know being condescending and uh you know in in payback in return we're like hey why don't you watch grandfather for a weekend you know help out with your, your dad some he raised you as a kid now it's your responsibility you know you're so successful and stuff why don't you come over and take care of your father shouldn't be hard for you didn't last but one day couldn't even keep him a whole weekend this one day it bringing him back you know very typical baby boomer hey let's get a look at this truck here see that What are they hauling off there? Got more coming. Going up to the mines. But yeah, that's the thing. He'd be coming here, acting like he owns the place, act, leaving the dog here 24-7, living here on top of us 24-7, and return of the favor, like, hey, won't you keep Papa off for a weekend? We're having, you know, he has his issues. He's your dad. You know, want to take care of your father in your old age. And uh, one day, barely lasted one freaking day, man. All right, so it's January starting off already. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but here we are back at the emergency room, just like last year. Had to run grandma to the emergency, which I think is kind of funny in a bad way. Like, not funny as haha, -ha, but funny as ironic, because just the other day they had a little powwow, you know, trying to basically snuff grandpa and kick him into an early grave. They deteriorated so much, we got to kick him in the grave and take everything they got. But you see grandma right here, she's, she's, she wanted to come to the ER. She doesn't, you know, I told her, I said, well, do you think we should just put, <laughs> I shouldn't have done it, but I just joking with her. I said, you want us to put in some life support uh, care on you and put a do not resuscitate and just, you know, leave you here and let you die comfortably. <laughs> She got mad. It's not as, when, when, when you're on the receiving end of anything, you know, it's different. It's easy to, to do it to somebody, but when it's being done to you, when it's being done to you, you know, there's a big difference there. You got to follow the money on some stuff. You know, if there wasn't, uh, there wasn't going to be a big gain, like lots of acres of land and tons of money and cars and everything, would they be so eager to, to be helping? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would they be so eager to help? Because they ain't down here taking her to the ER. It's me. I, this is helping. Yeah, you see the difference there? You see the difference. It's like the film Summer of 84, and I highly recommend you go watch that because I've referenced it several times before things happened or be before I started even talking about things. And, uh, you know, this guy could commit murder or manslaughter and people would still be all, he's helping, he's helping, he's helping so much. And I'm like, is he really helping? Or is he just helping himself? In fact, if I hear one more person say that to me in real life, I'm going to just disown them forever.